<laughs> Doesn't this feel like fucked up? Like, I, I don't even recognize this little area, right? Like, this is just, like, insane. It, it's such a small change, but it has such a massive, a massive emotional tie to it. It's crazy. This is the same Sage Chef, it's just in reverse. This map looks so strange. Like, this area looks so different in reverse, does it not? Oh, man. Yeah, this is, uh... This is my new favorite obsession right now, this mod. Flip the UI? No, but then it, it would be too obvious what's happening to anyone that joins. Someone is just gonna open the stream right now and be like, what the fuck? Is this a new map? <laughs> Did someone create an entirely new planes? Like, this area looks so... I don't know, it makes the maps look, uh, look smaller to me somehow. Does that make sense? I don't know, I'm just like, I'm noticing the way the structure of the map is for like the first time in a way. Pretend like nothing's wrong, I thought about it. <laughs> but no one reads the title anyway, so it's fine. The level of crafting game has made me feel the same way as this. <laughs> Even from seeing the picture, for the first time that Gorek kind of just was like messing around with it, it was just like so weird like this area I, this area just looks totally different to me it's just flipped i don't even understand how it can feel so different when i'm like in the world itself it's so cool though gas burner yeah appreciate it greatly thank you oh was the icon backwards for the uh the printer i think it was uh we got one uh, equipment let's get that first like this area is so weird Egg, please. I might want to keep the key so I'll print more gas of other things. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Really wasn't much late on the stage, huh? I don't know, I'm losing my mind. I'm too busy looking around at the world around us. But I feel like there's not too much. I know there's some in the, the path there, but... So the idea chat is that, like, your stages aren't mirrored all the time. We are going to play that way today. But the idea is that you just have more stages in your rotation, so it feels like the game has twice as many stages, basically. Which I think works, because this looks and feels like an entirely new, separate stage, right? So, this to me. Sky Meadows is crazy, the moon is so uncomfortable, dude. I'm gonna just take the one guess. Kinda sucks, but I mean, I always wanna like, go into a gas burner when I see at the start, but sometimes you just don't have a little state, dude. That would be. Yep, be on stage two. Yeah. I'll be sad when I see it. Let <laughs> that admit they're just curse. It's true. That's the answer to Titanic Plains. Yeah, it like actually just feels like a new place. Like entirely. There's a, there's a discussion we had about uh, perception and things. And like how large something needs to be uh, when flipped for it to be seen as something brand new. Like if you flip like a tr triangle or a square or something or like some simple shape, it's like, oh, you can kind of tell. But the larger the thing becomes, the more it feels like insane. Gorak does, as far as I know, want to release it on Planisaur at some point, so. Does this work with cooler stages? Uh, it should, yeah. I just, I wanted it to be without cooler stages today, because I wanted you guys to, to be stunlocked by how <laughs> one change just like upends an entire stage. Mirror mode races when? That would actually be fun, I think. I think we got everything. Alright, stage two, let's see. Oh, this one is fucked up. <laughs> Oh, this one's fucked up. It it feels so fucking wrong. <laughs> it doesn't even feel like we're in the same map at all. Like, I don't even know where I am right now. It's crazy. If we got the god pot, let's go. It's right there. It's normal to me, right? Then you turn and it's all wrong. Yeah, like a, a simple, like, I don't know. You're just like a look somewhere for me messes me up. Like, what is this? This looks crazy. That's alright. Is that weird that you just don't notice a difference? It probably means you just don't have that much playtime in this game. I was talking to this, uh, about this someone last night, and we were just like, yeah, if someone is, like, new to the game, they, they wouldn't even notice or something. Or, like, we're getting, like, the new player experience of, like, how confusing the maps can feel. 
for the first time in like a billion hours, right? Which I think is interesting. Like this whole area feels so weird. <laughs> I gotta find the uh, the other button for you. I feel like almost lost. For <laughs> Just don't recognize it at all. Yeah. Tell me to download alternate stage variants. I'd believe you. Yeah, I could. I could just lie. And then someone figures out like 20 hours later, they're like, dude, he's actually just using weird six. Nice. This is the tree button, chat. Doesn't that feel like wrong? I feel strong. Alright, let's start up. Teams race where one player is on normal stages and the other is on mirrored. Dude, that's such a good idea. That's crazy. <laughs> Actually. That's a cool fucking idea. He's so confusing. You'd have to like really know the map, too. ATG in the small chest to the left of TP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where you started, just go to the right. Uh... <laughs> Man's animation's also mirrored. Yeah. So he's left-handed now, dude. All right, let's get some uh, let's get some bands, shall we? I don't even know how this is even possible. Like I know that it's like mirrored camera or whatever, but I don't know how it's possible. Uh, not here. We haven't looted this area yet. This is a brand new area. We do have a scrapper, so we can get rid of some stuff. Okay, is it over here? Dude, I don't know where the the button is, man. <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> Why did I not check? We checked tree, right? I thought I already went into the uh, the tunnel part. Is it a big rock? No. Oh, is it bush? I forgot about bush. Yeah, the plant one. Yeah, it was flower. Dude. This being a flower button is crazy. Oh god, the cave. The cave, dude. I hate this. <laughs> mm. Their animations are... Uh... I never realized how strange they are, they tilt their head to the side like that. Appreciating the foliage in the cave for the first time. Yeah, I need a scrap. What was the printer on the stage? I don't remember. Was it a printer? I thought there was a printer. Thank you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, I don't really need this right now, honestly. It's fine, I just don't need it. I don't really need the chrono either, but... I'm just gonna keep it. Lobby is such a cool refresher. Oh yeah, dude. Like, it's very rare that you get, like, Koku quality maps. And you can just get, like, double the amount of maps. Oh, it's bungus. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. Use an experience? Oh, we need to go there this time, too. This one place I did not go to, actually. Can you turn right? And see, not expected, I just feel dizzy. <laughs> That's funny. You recognize this? I don't. Like, what the fuck? I don't even know how it's mirrored, dude. That's crazy. I don't... Oh my god. I'm gonna go hit the newt in this corner that it's normally in. It's not here. This mod is so genius. I need this for Skyrim. Dude. <laughs> Imagine how many games can just, like, feel brand fucking new immediately. Opal printer. Nice. I love that. We might, uh... Partake in that one. Let's go the new as it's way over here in the corner obviously that is center grove i thought that center grove would look a lot different but it actually looks very very similar because the map is so like symmetrical actually but as that hates him learn how to double the content of your game instantly yeah. i would like to see if i can get some equipment something here sirens is fucked up actually well that feels like if we got awful that map trips me up normally Wetlands is pretty crazy, actually. The more non-symmetrical a map is, the more it feels like something completely brand new. But we're going to uh, Abyssal soon, and that's an experience in itself, so... Like, even just, like, this view right here... Like, it feels like a brand new area. I seen Devil Saw Multi for some challenge inspired by you, I hate it. Congratulations. I hope that you uh, win. Personally. Jesus. Double saw can be uh, actually very fun. So, are the watches worth grabbing since it breaks? Uh, yeah, just don't break. Them. There's like a, you know, there's like a graph 
that you could probably make for yourself, right? The the value of a watch starts off pretty high if it's like one, because if you lose it, it's not too bad or whatever, right? As you get like to the middle ground where you're still very vulnerable, maybe like, you know, if you find yourself getting hit a lot anyway, it could be like, maybe they're not as valuable if you're just destined to break them. But if you had 10 billion watches, nothing would ever hurt you, <laughs> right? So I feel like for for players that kind of struggle with, with dying and losing watches, it's kind of like a bell graph, almost in a way. <laughs> this map is really trippy. I don't know, you don't get that void turtle. Uh, I don't actually know why I picked that up. I looked at chat, I looked back, and I was just like, yeah, I did free unbox where it normally is, of course. Beautiful. It's gonna sort. Oh, beautiful. Tempted to even take more, but I don't really want to lose what I have. No scrapper either. I'm gonna go for one more. I think about four speed is good. That's fine, because we just burned opals. But yes, I mean, watches are incredible value, and like, crowbar is fine, but mixing crowbar and watch is how you get good damage, right? Because you multiply the crowbar damage by the watch. That's how you get really powerful. Oh, here we go. Oh no, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I'm getting out of here, dude. It's also been a while since I've been on this stage. I don't know, it's just so bright. I hate the intensity of this map. This map is the reason I use uh, cooler stages more than anything else. Yeah, so fucking red. <laughs> right tip, no thank you. Dude, this is where Lender Chest is at? That's crazy. The uncanny valley of the stage design. <laughs> I will hit the mountain point actually. Mark gas burner. Maybe. Forgot how red the stage is. Yeah, it's uh it's extremely red. Playing a left burner, that's crazy. Is it harder to navigate the stage with this mod? Yes. Because like, you know, I'm used to like I have to think about where I'm going. And I never usually have to do that. Because everything's so autopiloty when I play. But like, dude, I actually have to think exactly about where I'm going or where I'm headed. There is no muscle memory anymore. It is gone. Yeah, 5,000 hours of muscle memory just like being deleted. Working against you? Yeah. A newer player would have a much easier time with these stages. We'll see how the mythic fight goes also. I did test to see if pizza works correctly and it does. It was a really obscure and little tech that you usually use naturally, but now you have to really think about. It was naturally now, but I had to really think about it in the past. That's actually a pretty good question. I don't have a an answer for you right now, unfortunately. Uh, we might take that. So in loader, yeah, I mean like when I was starting off playing loader, that's a good one. Like doing the uh, the bunny hop movement and stuff was something that like, you know, maybe I had to think about or like pylon uh, grappling and stuff. Dude, the printers are fucked up, man. Oh, watch printer sounds good. I'm gonna shoot down and listen fall damage. I think when I first started playing Runner, maybe. But I already had multiple thousands of hours by the time the DLC came out. So I was already pretty comfortable with like applying new tech to characters like that. I think within a day I was already you know, doing that stuff. Alright, let's hit it. Okay. hit the bell that was right in front of us. Um, I could get 10 of bubble actually. We do have one chrono. Once we print those watches, this will be perfectly fine. Could be something as easy as like, you know, expose tech on Merc or something like that too. Like, you know. And Merc is like, one of those characters where it's a little bit harder for new players to learn. Wow, no, uh, <laughs> there's just so much stuff going on, you know. And merch stats are not the highest, obviously. What's funny happening in loaders? Are you not going to gain momentum of playing through the air? No. It's 
shooting the ground with your grapple and flicking upwards so you regain momentum forward. I didn't really stack that much with Bandit while we were going through the stage, so... Also partly why we're in this situation. How to make Lepton good? I uh, played Drizzle. Even then, like... <laughs> why would you want it on Drizzle? It's actually okay if you're going so fast and you're trying to go through the game at a speed where you feel like you can't leave the teleporter, but that's like not really optimal either, so... You're just making it harder for yourself in a really Turn in the scrap, that will make it useful, yeah. How are we supposed to find it to stay? Alright, forgot. Ooh, a lot more stuff here than I thought. <clears throat> Good. Where's the linear chest, dude? <laughs> It's so hidden. That does alright. Am I full looting harder? Oh, it is way harder already. Oh, we, we could have done is we could have done the fucking infusion tech, dude. I should have done that this stage. I mean, we could still like take a chance on it, but fusion tech, uh, basically cheating. <laughs> so if you have like thirty infusions, right, um, and you get enough HP kills what, so they're full, and you scrap them all and you print one infusion, it gives all that HP back of the of the 30 that you farmed for. And so there was an infusion print on the stage, I didn't do it. Can you explain what the mod does? Uh, if you're paying attention, you might see. That's part of the fun. Just figuring it out. I might just like try to gamble it though. <laughs> and uh... We, like print a few infusions and then next stage if there's a scrapper and like an infusion anywhere we can do it which could be kind of cool if we end up pulling it off it's kind of a gamble though i still ended up with all the infusion on the emerald eh, no but i think it'd be cool to try it so let's try it i don't really use lunar items in your run i do not i consider them cheating for the way that I play. How can base game be cheating? If you do, if, okay, listen, if you like using them, it's fine. Like, I'm not, I'm not here to try to sway you one way or another, but there are certain things you can do in the game. You can take, like, a shortcut to win every time, and after playing long enough, you kind of realize you don't want to take the shortcuts anymore. Does that make sense? It's like uh, going on a hike and climbing a ladder to the top of the mountain every day instead of, uh, taking the hike and seeing the scenery. At a certain point, you have to ask yourself why you're hiking. At the end of the day, if you like them, that's all that matters, and you can keep using them. Oof. <laughs> gonna be... Every, like, rock that we destroy gives us, like, a lot of health, actually, because we have so many infusions. The thing is, like, because lunar items have their own economy that's, like, out of run currency, it was easy for a lot of people to kind of point at those and be like, hey, what if we just played the game with the in the run currency instead? Kind of situation. Like, you're just using things you're not really meant to have in the base game every single run, right? That's also another way of looking at it. There are a lot of. uh, from Burles. There's a scrapper. It's near the edge. I'm saying it's near the edge because I don't. I won't remember where it is. Use ephemeral coins. Alright, so like, you you see that there's like, an issue with the... with the Lunars as is, right? So everyone, everyone handles it differently, but... the more you play the game, the more you have to acknowledge that the Lunars are insane. And you can still use them. You have to acknowledge they're crazy. You can get so many in a run card how often void items are provided. I mean, you can get five Lunar items between every stage that you play, so... <laughs> Does that seem normal? I don't know. Not to me. But again, each their own. I don't... I'm not asking anyone to play the way I play, I just don't want to use them. But there are people that I've, I've seen play the game that don't use reds and shit as well. They don't use equipment, you know? Like, everyone has their own line for like, what they want to play with. So. No infusion. Sad. The gamble did not work. I need you. Uh, I will. Mm. I have a post skip already. So we could just take elephant and then 
have that for phase four or something. But I don't know, we need egg because we don't have feather, probably. The random is our last chance. Set. Stop using lunars, I realized how much they were a clutch to me. Yeah. Like, even when I first started playing the game, when I first started doing Eclipse, I used lunars a bit, right? It wasn't until later where I realized that, like, like what I was even doing. It, it was so early on in the, uh, in the game, though, that no one really ever even thought about it. I had heard, like, two people ever say anything about them, and I was like, you know what? Maybe they are pretty fucking good. By the time I got E8, though, I think. That's when I was like, you know what? Maybe they're a little bit much. I could just grab the one I need every time. You watch a video in bed and both your eyes fall asleep and you've got on the pillow and you can't see with both for a second? It's not this feel. It just feels like someone spun me in a chair and then had me walk through the map. Learn the game from somebody or must figure it out on your own. I have figured everything else, or everything out my own. Like, there are things that we learn as a community effort, but my style of playing was always my own. Like, when I played the game, Everyone else that was ever playing the game on Twitch was always going super fast. So for years, I had people tell me the way I was playing was wrong. <laughs> like, I played the game on day one, right? That was ever even released. I played the game... Each of the major updates on day one, just grinded them out. So I didn't really have any outside influence for what I should be doing. I remember... I have memories of my friends telling me, like, Oh, you saw, like, a video, and, like, you have to scrap this item or do this. And I was like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> The anti feather is pretty brutal. Okay. Emily Cores, maybe? One quail that I don't really want, actually. But... Probably scrap it. Honestly, I really think it's okay to have this much health. Confusion, we're doing all right. So we have opals, so I will be taking a lot less uh, umbral damage if we get hit. But you don't have a feather, so one dribble artifacts. I enjoy using the vengeance one personally. I don't use them. <laughs> I think artifacts have the same kind of problem as Lunasaur a lot of the time. I, if I use one, it's gonna be like the honor one that makes everything the weak. That's the only one that's interesting to me. No Evo anymore. If I use Evo nowadays, it's gonna be with a mod to blacklist some shit, honestly. I'm not particularly interested in doing any more runs where I have to have uh, to fight enemies that have Tessa Coil. <laughs> Even though I've done it, and I've won, uh, you know, it's something that I think that are kind of unfun. <laughs> What we could do right now is just get rid of Shuriken, and, and that's up to five on the green scrap. I don't want to get rid of my infusion at this point. I feel like it's it's better in my hands right now than a random red, actually. Especially with the PSG, which is weird to say that, but I think it's true. How much damage is Shuriken doing? I mean, we have Behemoth, right? It's pretty good. Uh, I don't really want to stack too much on the moon either, though, so we'll probably need him. Oh, uh, three is too good to keep. Or to get rid of it. I think we'll just go with what we have. Weird build, honestly. Mikana's minion at least was the worst shit, dude. <laughs> That's so crazy. Cause I used to be bad and when you went in void fields and you got like med kits and new kahanas. Uh but man. Card passing was seven hundred health, but a lot more because the PSGs and then the armor from opals and stuff. Oh boy. <laughs> So I'm gonna open the stream and be like, dude, what is happening? <laughs> Let me get rid of these guys. Band soup. Moon three. Yep. Makes it seem so much larger. It's weird because on some maps I feel like it makes it feel smaller. But on this map I feel like maybe it makes it feel bigger? I don't know. It just like it changes so much of your perception. So this is the only thing different in the maps? Yep. Even this bridge just feels like an entirely new thing. It's amazing how something in your vision on your left now can just make something feel so much different. I was feel sure you have to see over a thousand of hours. Yeah, like literally years. <laughs> They're not airbursts, man. 
You guys like soup? Mmm. <laughs> What up? Oh, there's headset. I'm gonna give up something for headset, I feel like. See, Afterburners, huh? Like, Afterburner would be maybe almost better than the headset here. I don't know what I want. Is Curse? What do you mean? I don't understand the problem. I don't know, which one are we taking? I think headset will be easier to just kind of, like, autopilot the fight a little bit more. I'm gonna take the headset, it's fine. That was a pretty good roll. We lost a Reckler, which kind of sucks, but... Where's the host skip spot, dude? <laughs> Here? Oh, man. remind myself that I do not have a feather jump. This whole arena is just backwards to me. If I wanted the fight to be a little bit easier, I could have just stacked more, but I don't really want to. Never afraid, I'm really still trying to get consistent with vanilla the clerks. I'll get there eventually if that's what your goal is. <laughs> not looking. to uh, get to this point. I fucking hate you. if I need it. Trying the driver mod? I did try the driver mod. Could be covering left handed desperado. True. I'll take this one. That was another fight from. That's Umbro Mythics. If you've never seen it before, maybe on the ship being tilted that way is. Oh, interesting, interesting. So, what do you guys think of the, uh, the mirror move? I think it's pretty sick. And that was Moon is Mirrored? Really? Interesting. Soul Pillar is over here, by the way. Everything feels a little bit odd, but, you know, it just feels new and fresh and cool. 